Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX uh, UK and this is a video where I'm talking about the uh, different radios available that have the TF6686 uh, chip. Um, the chip that was uh, originally meant for in-car uh, stereo entertainment systems but is now being used for uh, portable radio uh, units like the one you see in front of you. Okay, so I've been asked uh, the differences in, you know, in different uh, TEF 6686 uh, radios and I'm going to point out the ones that I do know of. Okay, so the first one here is um, what I call the TEF 6686 second revision. It's not an official name, it's a name that's been given by the radio community that bought these um, and have been uh, installing uh, modded uh, firmware. As far as I know, these were the, the first best-selling units uh, that have the uh, TEF 6686 uh, chip. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the one that I own and I have to say it's an excellent performer. I'm really happy uh, with it. So if you're looking for a great uh, sensitive uh, radio, do consider uh, this one. But I believe the first uh, version of this uh, radio could be this one. It's the TEF 86, not 6686, okay? Um, from, uh, from what I've seen or what I've read is that this may contain the older chip uh, prior to the TEF 6686. Don't quote me on it. I don't know if this is um, true. This would need a scientific analysis to compare the performance to the radios with the TEF 6686 uh, chip, confirmed that they have those chips rather. And also as well, um, you'd have to open up this radio and see what chip this um, you know this radio has compared to say a radio with the TEF 6686 uh, uh, chip and also open up that radio with the TEF 6686 chip and compare the differences between the both. Um, so yeah, that's one of the differences that I know, but I know looking, just looking at this uh, radio that there are differences anyway. For example, let's go here to the back to the second revision radio. So the antenna input is on the top left, as you can see, and then on the right of the radio, you've got the uh, dialing or the tuning button on the top right, and on the bottom right, you've got the volume um, dial, okay? But then looking at this TEF86 radio, the antenna connection is not on the top left, it's on the top right, and on the right of the radio, you've got three dials instead of two. So you can see the differences there, apart from as well that this radio is black and the second revision radio here is uh, silver. So yeah, so, um, you know, a couple of cosmetic uh, differences, as you can see here, still three buttons as well on the right of the screen as well, and of course the speaker on the left, same as the uh, this second revision radio. Okay, let's move on. So another radio that I know uh, is being sold more and more people are getting is this TEF6686 uh, 5.0 version. Now, this radio, the improvements that I, um, that I know of um, that uh, come with this radio compared to the second revision is uh, that it comes with a touch screen. It has two speakers, as you can see at the bottom of the screen of the radio, two speakers versus one um, like the second revision has. Um, and also as well, um, it has a, a low noise uh, amplifier, okay? You can have a version that uh, doesn't come with it and you can have a version that has it, okay? I would recommend getting the one with a low noise uh, amplifier. You're gonna buy this radio. The difference is only, as you can see here, um, 10 euros, and I would say it's worth the 10 extra uh, euros. That would come in very useful when you're trying to boost a signal that uh, that might be uh, weak. Yeah, so any any options to amplify the signal in your uh, TEF66 radio um, that can help will help. But I can tell you that the uh, TE, you know the radios with the TEF6686 chip they have excellent uh, sensitivity uh, anyway. And also as well um, compared to the um, the second revision radio, as you can see, it comes with uh, three dials on the on the right here as well versus the you know versus the two of the tef 6686 radio another radio that seems to be selling more and i'm seeing more people own um is uh, this here the deep elec dp666 radio again this has the tef 6686 uh, chip but there are you know the improvements i would say compared to the second revision uh, radio is that as you can see in front it's got a keyboard here to enter uh, frequencies uh, directly. A great thing uh, for people that love to change frequency um, all the time. Okay, look for, you know, uh, zone in on a specific frequency when they want to. That's great indeed. Uh, with the uh, second revision radio, it's, um, this is this can be a pain. You'd have to keep on tuning around with the tuning dial, or you'd have to set your, you know, this, the specific frequencies that you want to keep on um, 
uh, listening on you're gonna have to put them on the uh, on the memory itself but the great thing is like for example um, if you know of a frequency that's active and you want to tune in straight away and you haven't got it in the memory well you just press you know the buttons here on this uh, keyboard you enter the frequency directly and that's it so this is a great thing indeed uh, to have okay and also as well this uh, these deep elect dp666 radios um, they have a touch screen um, as uh, well but another improvement too is that uh, this has the boot button um, to flash the firmware um, directly available on the uh, left of the uh, radio itself now as you can see here it's got the button here that's the boot button because with the second revision uh, radio in order to flash the firmware um, of this uh, radio the boot button is inside the headphone socket and you have to get a thin screwdriver um, in order to access the uh, boot button okay but with the dp uh, deep elect dp666 there's no need to put a screwdriver inside that headphone socket you've just got it available here on the left right just uh, use a small pin and that's it you can easily flash your deep elect dp666 with a third uh, party firmware so i would say these uh, dp666 radios are the more co uh, complete versions of the uh, radios that come with the tef6686 another one um, that i see more people buying more uh, radios with the uh, 6686 chip are these desktop uh, radios okay um as you can see here one of the improvements i can see straight away with this uh, radio um is that it comes with a remote control um that is a great thing indeed especially if you're going to put this uh, as part of your hi-fi unit and i'm thinking of getting this to replace my sony tuner that's on my hi-fi unit um and i can see i know straight away that I'm going to be using this radio with the remote more because my Sony tuner doesn't come with a remote control. OK, so this is a, a great thing to have a great addition. And of course, the benefits of this is with this radio, the sensitivity is excellent and it has dynamic bandwidth filtering for the FM band. But something I'm seeing, too, as well, I don't know if all of these desktop versions uh, of the TEF6686 have it, but this comes in with a built in AM antenna for medium wave and I'm supposing a long wave um as well um most of the te uh, the tef6686 radios don't come with an internal ferret antenna for medium wave and long wave but this one does right as far as i know so this you know this could be the version that might that i might be uh, getting next okay and that'll be a great thing indeed sir, for the times that i want to monitor you know the medium wave and the long wave band without the need uh, of uh, using an external antenna so yeah, that's the thing with these TEF6686 radios. For medium wave and long wave DXing, you're going to have to get an external antenna because they lack the internal ferrite antenna used for medium wave and long wave. But if this desktop version comes with it, I think I'm going to buy it. OK, so there we are. And yeah, so this one here, like I said, comes with a remote control and uh, seems to come as well with the uh, internal ferrite antenna. So something to consider uh, if you like both uh, features. And something else uh, too, um, I'm seeing uh, more people own these mini versions of the TEF6686 uh, radio. Um, what it is, it looks like a cut down uh, version. Well, it is a cut down version rather, but you don't see the speaker um, itself. Like for example, here with this uh, TEF6686 revision, the speaker is on the left of the radio. But these mini versions, I think they're also on the left, right? So you see these little holes there. I think they're on the left, but they're not visible. OK, so it might come. It seems like it comes with a smaller speaker um, or it must come with a smaller speaker compared to the uh, second revision. So I would say that these um, mini versions of the TEF6686 are meant to be the more portable and lighter versions of the uh, radios that come with the TEF6686. And there's another version here, there you go. This one here, the silver case version as well. So yeah, pretty much the same as the black version as we see, maybe a bit thicker um, too. And possibly as well, the speaker, if it's not coming from the left, it might be coming from, you know, the sound might be coming out from the right. So these are more portable versions um, of the TEF6686 if you like radios that are very small and, a, and, you know, and portable as well. So there we are. Uh, these are the different uh, models and versions of the TEF6686 uh, radios that are available uh, out there. Um, and something else I want to mention too as well is that if you want a, a radio that has the TEF6686 uh, uh, chip but 
um, comes with an internal ferret antenna with, uh, you know, for the medium wave and long wave bands, then consider getting this radio, the Kodosan D, uh, DX286. Okay, I know people that have got, uh, got this radio and they are really happy with the performance of this radio. Um, not only is it great, of course, on the FM band, but also on the medium wave and long wave band, also short wave. But like I said, this comes with the, uh, the internal ferret antenna needed for medium wave and long wave reception. No, you know, no uh, need anymore for an external antenna for medium wave and long wave. But as far as I know, there's a trick as well that you can do um, to use an external antenna with this Kodasan DX286. But like I said, uh, no longer any any more need um, to uh, you know to get an you know an external antenna. Uh, to use with your radio that has the TEF6686 uh, chip. And also as well, this has by, uh, dynamic bandwidth filtering as far as I'm told for the FM band. Great indeed when you're trying to listen to a frequency on a crowded station and you're trying to minimize uh, interference. Okay, so there we are. These are all the radios that I know, um, different models that I know that have the TEF6686 uh, chip. They do have uh, differences in each of the uh, the models, the, the units available, but that's a great thing indeed because some of these features could be, um, the, you know, the ones that uh, you want from, you know, these uh, radios that have the excellent uh, TEF6686 uh, chip. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video.